So, are you a good leader? Of course, I'm a super awesome leader. Really? Well, I think so. How about you? I don't know. How does I even tell if one is a good leader? I don't know either. Hi, I'm Chetan and this is my friend Muchi and we are here to give you life lessons, gyan, motivation. Basically, bakwas. Shh. So guys, the topic today is something which uh, we all hear about a lot in interviews but we get confused about a lot which is leadership. Why after all, what makes a good leader? A good moustache. Really? Well, in that case, I can't be one. Anyway. Let's move on to the, our topic again. What do you think makes for a good leader? So, if you go to a bookstore, you'll find shelves and shelves of books on leadership. Obviously, an important trait for self-development, a person with leadership qualities is considered a valuable asset and often sees a big rise in life. However, one question people often get confused about are, what are these leadership qualities in simple terms? And then the next question people ask is, how will I develop these leadership qualities? Why a good leader is a good qualities of leader, how do I develop them? And people say, is leadership natural or can I learn it? And there is much confusion around the topic. Yes, I'm confused. I know. Well, I like to keep things simple. And I do think leadership is a skill that can be learned to a certain extent. So what is leadership? To me, leadership is simply taking charge. It means whatever work you are involved in, you take responsibility for the task to get done at high standard. Whether it's preparing a meal for guests coming at home or doing a big product launch at a company. If you are involved, do your best to make sure things are done in the best possible manner. See, what happens is too many people are happy to do only their bit and then they want to earn praise for it. A leader is not only doing his or her work, but also helping make sure others are doing it well. You mean like I am here not just to do my talking, but to make sure you also talk properly? Yes, sort of. See, so you don't just do your bit, but you take charge of the other bits as well, irrespective of your designation. If you show this quality early on in your career, you will be spotted, given more responsibility and ultimately get a chance to rise faster wherever you are. So basically, you go there and poke your nose in everyone's business? <laughs> of course, I mean, yes, this needs to be done in a sensitive and effective manner. Kisi ko bhi achha nahi lagta ki aap unke, you know, you're poking your nose in their affairs or anything. So, you don't want people to be thinking you are nosy. Like I said, leadership is a skill and leaders possess two main qualities that you may consider cultivating as well. Are they handsome like me? Yeah, like you. Handsome and purple. Anyway, so here are the two qualities. One, leaders know the job, which means they are extraordinarily competent in the business they are in or their company operates in. If it is a bakery, the leaders know more about baking than almost anyone else. They love their business, are passionate about it and always keep learning. Thus, if you want to be a leader, find something you can be passionate about and work in that industry and then learn the job better than your peers and even seniors. The second quality leaders have and people often ignore this one is people skills. Just as leaders know the job, they know the people. And this skill is not industry specific. Understanding human behavior, emotions, thought processes and feelings is something everyone who works in an organization must have. But especially leaders, you cannot hurt other people for example, even though you may have better ideas or know the job better than them. Or for example, you have to motivate people properly if you want to push them. You need to communicate and get consensus on change rather than thrust change on people. Samjhe, people skills are important. Hai. Hmm, you are not as stupid as I thought. But business, I can learn. How do I learn about people? Well, understanding of people comes from experience and observation rather than from textbook. Some people are better than it than others, but it is also something one can learn. There is no one right way or one personality to handle people. 
As long as you are fair, polite and sensitive, you will do fine. Hence, take charge, know the business and know the people. Leadership is coming your way. Did you like this video? What other topics would you like me? Me! Me! Me too! Okay, what other topics would you like me and Muchi to talk about? Any questions you may have about life or career, do let us know and we'll come back with answers. Until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye! Kitna pakata hai ya? Muchi, seriously?